Hi, uh, I just want to do an update on my camera streaming project with the Raspberry Pi. So I finally received my Pi camera module less than a week ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I spent a lot of time trying to get the to integrate the code and to make everything work. So now I have it running, and the setup is similar to before. I have the Raspberry Pi running in the corner, and here's the camera module attached to the end of the ribbon. I taped it on the speaker just so that it wouldn't wobble around. So again, I've, I've connected to the Pi using SSH on my computer already, so let's launch the application. So as you can see, when the Pi camera module is running, the LED on the corner uh, is lit. So that's uh, VLC to it. So yeah, so now it's running. And then as you can see, uh, there is a very visible delay in the system. I haven't done, I, I did a very brief investigation to this, um, but I'm more or less convinced that this is just the inherent system delay of VLC itself because uh, the, the CPU usage on the Pi right now is actually only roughly 5 to 10 percent ish. So there shouldn't be any sort of a latency buildup or delay or anything like that that a Pi is ex ex experiencing. Uh, the VLC, on the other hand, there are uh, jitter buffers and network cache buffers and whatnot that are settings that you can tune. Um, I've played around with the settings a little bit, but I, I, as you can see, I'm not able to in eliminate it completely. Um, but I, I did improve it. Um, so as before, I'm going to show you connected, uh, connected to this using the Android tablet. So here you go. Can you see it? Okay. So I'm going to wave my hand. So there should be a very visible delay, and then, so so the delay here uh, is less than a delay here, and that's because I've changed the setting on the VLC on the computer. Um, so that's it. I'm going to pretty up the code and hopefully release it in some sort of release this application in some sort of format uh, on the Pi Store. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.